Namaste or Assalamu Alaikum Dosto, look what we've got here today. Manu is going to be trying Pakistani food for the very first time. And if you're a foreigner watching, do keep watching because you're going to learn a lot about Pakistani food and you're going to find out where to come here in Dubai for the best and the cheapest Pakistani food. And now, babe, you are Pakistan two times. How are you? I was born in the border cross. But it was the most memorable experience of my life. I didn't feel like I was in any other country or any other place. There were a lot of places where people were going to go and people were going to go and go. You went to Kartapur. She went to Kartapur. And she went twice. Yeah. And this is only Punjab, right? Yes. Yes, it was Punjab. You've got Punjab on the Indian side, you've got Punjab on the Pakistan side. And, and, what did you say to your mother and father? What did you say to your mother? मेरे परिवार ने पहले थोड़ा बॉर्डर थे क्योंकि कोई आम तौर पर आता जाता नहीं है बॉर्डर क्रॉस नहीं करता ऐसे तो दे सेड कि जाने से पहले कॉल करना और आने के बाद कॉल करके बता देना सब ठीक है कि नहीं बट और अनुभव कैसा था जब मैंने जाने के बाद उनको बताया अरे मार गया वापस आया वापस आए सही सलामत पर जब मैंने वापस आए के बाद उनके साथ एक एक्सपीरियंस शेयर किया उनको बताया कि जो हम एक्सPECT कर रहे थे उससे बिल्कुल उल्टा था और बल्कि अच्छे से भी और अच्छा ही था मुझे लग रहा था मैं ही ज़्यादा इमोशनल हो रही हूँ क्योंकि मैंने दादा की नाना की सबके फ्रेंड्स थी वो वो एक शेयर्ड फीलिंग थी जो उन्हें भी लग रहा था ऐसा ही और भी वो वो सम ऑफ़ अस पर टियर ही आए हैं ना इमोशनल सब इमोशनल थे और जब वो पाकिस्तान में थे तो खाना खाया कुछ खाना खाया ये नहीं हाँ खाना खाया ना गुरुद्वारे में खाना खाया बहुत सिंपल फ्लेवरफुल फूड लेकिन इट वाजेंट हाई ऑन स्पाइसेस मसालेदार नहीं था बहुत फ्लेवरफुल था सटल था और बहुत ही अच्छा था अलग था तो वो लंगे था ये अलग खाना है ये प्योर पाकिस्तानी खाना है ना हाँ और वो वेजिटेरियन था ये नॉन वेजिटेरियन हाँ � All right, we're here at Park Liari, and Park is means Pakistan. Liari is a suburb in Karachi, and there's no one here right now because everybody is praying. They're at the mosque right now, so even the staff are there. So we're just waiting for the staff to come back, and at 7:30 we'll be able to place an order and try some food, okay? And now this is my favorite restaurant for Pakistani food here in Dubai because it's so cheap. Biryani is like 15 dirhams only. That is really, really cheap for Dubai. So it doesn't matter who you are here in Dubai, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you can come here and you can have some good Pakistani food. So yeah, good quality food and at a really cheap price. And one other quirk that she didn't know, so um, yeah, in Pakistani restaurants, a lot of people would ask me in my videos, Carl, why don't I see any woman in Pakistan? Now there's a reason for that. When I'm vlogging in a restaurant, they sit me with all the single males, okay? So there's a separate section for single males and a section for families, which includes women. And we're in the family section right now. <laughs> but usually I have to sit in the male section, okay? And as soon as we walked in, we went to sit down in the male section and they're like, no, no, you guys can go upstairs to the family section. So that's, that's how it is, okay? You can thank me. Yeah, and that's why you don't <laughs> see many women in my Pakistan videos when I'm eating food because I'm not allowed to enter the female section and especially not allowed to film there as a single male. Yeah, so that's an important tip for foreigners or anyone who hasn't eaten at a Pakistani restaurant before. Men and women, families and single males are segregated. So if you walk into the family restaurant and they ask you to go downstairs, I mean, they're not being rude, it's just how the restaurants are structured, okay? I just got to show you guys the prices. So there is veg food here. But just be careful because sometimes at Pakistani restaurants they're using meat stock. So you've got to really check if it's pure veg. And if we look at the prices for dals, for example, Mashur dal, six dirhams, just 134 rupees, that's it. That's like as cheap as India, you know? And then dal gosht, just 12 dirhams. So just like 250 rupees. Biryani, 15 dirhams. So like 300 rupees. That's it. And there's also lassi and tea, both one dirham, same as naan as well. So I don't know how they make it for so cheap here in Dubai because everything is just so expensive here. But yeah, when you come to this place, nah, anybody can eat here. Hamko mutton biryani chahiye, double masala, okay? 
dal gosht okay. or malai boti. Or roti. Or roti chahiye aapko? Nahi. Or egg sprite. Seven hundred. Ji. Thank you. Ah, khana aa gaya. Oh, look at that. Delicious. Wow. So crazy. We've got a feast. Let's start with the basics, okay? So this is biryani. And always order it with double masala. They'll give you double the flavor in there. Let me show you. Look at that. You want lots of flavor. Then we have, this is dal kosht. This is lentils and mutton. Have you ever seen lentils with meat before? I've heard of it, but I've never tried it. And that's why I really wanted to try this, so I ordered it today. Usually you'll get a salad as well, and you'll get um, some raita. And then we have malai boti. This is just pieces of chicken that have been cooked over the fire downstairs, over the grill, covered in malai, which is cream. And it comes with this very spicy sauce. Oh. You can use your fingers, eh? Oh, yeah. I dropped the whole piece in there. Wait, don't use your knife and fork. What are you doing? Up England? I want to cut it into a smaller piece. Use your hands, no? Keep it dizzy, babe. Are you trying to troll me? <laughs> this is good. Our chicken is usually dry, but this one is very juicy. You know why? Why? Because of kamalai? Nay, it's all about freshness of the meat. In Pakistan, the meat is always super fresh. Like, they'll cut it and then they'll cook it. That's why, yeah? Yep. What about slow cooking? That makes it juicy too? Yeah, slow cooking does, but this isn't, hasn't been slow cooked. This has been cooked over the charcoal. And can you guys see how big this plate is? This is enough for four people. I'm just eating straight out of the, the bowl. It's biryani me alu hai. Huh. You know what that reminds me of? My favorite biryani, Bengal. which is uh, Bengali, Bengali biryani, hey na? They put potato in everything, and I love that. Potato should be in everything. It is not high on chili, but it's high on flavor. Mm. So yeah, there is something different. You know, whether it's a Hyderabadi biryani, Pakistani biryani, or Bengali biryani, the spice mixture is the biggest difference. That's it. I got one difference, okay? Look at the amount of oil there. That's one big difference between Indian and Pakistani food. They just use more oil. I want you to try dal gosht. Just taste the dal first, okay? Just put your spoon in. And just see how different it tastes. Or not. It is different. Less spice or more spice? Same spice. Same you amount think? of chili, yeah. I say that like Pakistani food has less spice than Indian food. Indian food has like way more complex flavors and Pakistani food is more simple. Yeah, like in that sense, yes. Um, I was talking about the quantity. You're talking about the number of spices? Yeah, it's different. Mm. Yeah, the number of flavors are less, so you can taste each flavor. Yeah. And the Indian dal sometimes has uh, so many spices that you can't really taste the individual flavors in it. But here you can. So I got one big question to ask you in a sec, but like just overall, how do you rate this food? Oh, it's Are amazing. You I'm very impressed. <laughs> this is great. I, especially the biryani is my favorite. That's one of the beautiful things about Dubai. You can come here and you can have whatever you want from any place in the world. So I think a lot of Indians will come here just to try Pakistani food and they'll get to try it here. And now, like, this isn't a question of which is better, Indian food or Pakistani food. They say um, diversity is the spice of life. So we've got different flavors from different parts of India, of Pakistan, and um, yeah, you're lucky to have all of these different flavors, hey, man? Like, it feels good to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ji. Khana bohra Thank you, sir. Yeah, my baby, yeah, wo. Biryani wo. Wo Hindustan se hai. Kya wo yaha kha sakte hain? Sab thik hai, na? Kuch nahi, chai, kuch nahi hoega. Chale, bye. Yeah, so everywhere here you're gonna find like Indians and Pakistanis now. Like, how was that different? How did you experience that in New Zealand? <laughs> I have a funny story. So, we were at friend's house and there was an after party. And we were sitting four or five people and we were discussing. We were all women. So, we were discussing fashion, shopping, and Bollywood, movies, and songs. So, it didn't seem like that. I mean, I assumed that we were all from India. Akhir mein, jab maine unko bola ki, Achha, aap Delhi aana. To, phir, she looked at me with that look, you know, ki, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then I realized, oh, uh, we're from different countries. 
तो हम में से एक पाकिस्तान से थे एक अफगानिस्तान से थे एक बांग्लादेश से थे और हम दो लोग इंडियन थे एंड पार्क <laughs> Never ever enter that lane and go take a right. Never ever. You'll see another side of Dubai there, okay? A side you don't want to see. And I made a video on that. I'll link to it in the description. But it's age restricted. So um yeah, don't do that. I took her for a walk through there just to show her what's going on in the back streets. And uh shocking. And uh Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, really sad. And how was the experience? Like it's a cool experience to be able to go and try that food because you'll never get that in India. Exactly. So hum na pata nahi मतलब मैं हमेशा ऐसे सोचती हूँ कि यार सुनते हैं हम वहाँ के खाने के बारे में और अब सोशल मीडिया पे ना उनका फैशन और कपड़े भी हम देखते हैं तो हमारा मन करता है कि हम एक्सपीरियंस करें वहाँ का खाना जो कि आई फील लकी कि आज मैंने किया माय नेक्स्ट गोल इज़ टू गेट अ नाइस बलूची कुर्ता